<laughs> it was awake. <laughs> you have a good sleep? Yeah. She's free, she's free. Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to come back every day, especially because we're going to Disney World today. Fingers crossed we make it into a park. But we are going to Disney World today. Look at this beautiful sun. It is 68. And look at where Bucky's. Um, it slept great. James took a little bit to go down, but it was like the most magical night of sleep for Teddy ever. He slept for like almost six hours at the Airbnb. He was able to get up at 4 a.m., shower, get our stuff up, ready. We were in the car by like 4.50, on the road by 5. Um, we made it all the way to the Zabuckies before the kids were like needing a break, needing nursing. They slept for the first like hour and a half. So they're just bouncing around in the car with them. Um, so we're gonna stop and set some bucky, stretch our legs. Eve just went for a walk. We're having a great start. Come on, I really get to clicking, but I'm looking for a sister to the wind kiss on. <laughs> when I was pointing the camera at Jamesy, Teddy was smiling. Now I'm pointing the camera at Teddy and Jamesy's smiling. Hey. Hey. Um, we had a good start to our day, huh? Um, Teddy was just held over by a little pouch. That's why he's, he's got some schmutt on his face. Um, we're stopping at Bucky's to fill up on gas. My eyes have been watering. I've not been crying. Do not, do not worry about me. My eyes have just been watering. I think it's the air conditioning because it's already 70 degrees and it feels so lovely. This is our first stop. We got the boys like straight out of bed into the car and they slept a good good while. Um, so it was a good first stretch. Um, watched the sunrise while we were in the mountains. It was actually like, we didn't like intend on it being so dark in the mountains and it was a little spooky, but we made it. Um, and we're in Georgia now. Um, um, is this like a bucky mobile? Look at the wheels. Look at the back. That's definitely like a bucky mobile. That is awesome. Made it out with a little something, something, some cookies, breakfast sandwich, and some eggs for Jamesy. Looks like Sarah's gonna run in there and check it out now. Oh! What'd you get? <laughs> you got a Bucky keychain? Oh, him's cute. Are we ready? Yeah, that was a bit of a stretch just now. Mm -hmm. But we needed it. The boys had been asleep like since the night. So, so we got outfits changed, diapers changed, some yeah. food, some snacks. Yeah, I think we're good. Hey, get those grubby hands. Get those grubby hands far, far away. So Peter came up with a great idea and our little teething baby has been sucking on this mango and it's the best thing to ever happen to him. Oh my gosh, Jake, you know what it's you, it's you, it's you. <laughs> it's his favorite part. Where's your shoe? Sometimes you just gotta get out of the car, get some wiggles out. We're in the southern third of Georgia. I think we got another like 100 miles. Where are we going? You wanna go to the western boutique? It's not really your vibe, but. I mean, who am I to say what is and isn't your vibe? Maybe this is a, a first time. James. Hi. They're confused because I'm back here. That's right, Sarah's driving. She just wants to get us to the Florida state line. She's like, you know what? You're going too slow. I'm in this now. Just kidding, she can't drive at nighttime. I mean, she can, but she just prefer to drive at nighttime because of her extremely poor vision. So, uh, we planned last night for today for me to be with the kids for a chunk while she drove um, during the daylight. So, 
What do you think? Two hours, three hours? Something like that. So I'm hanging out with the little guys. What do you and mom do while she's back here? Yeah? front seat party for mom we are exactly one mile away from the turnpike we had to get off um, I mean the boys woke up from their nap so like they want to stretch their legs but Teddy and he's had like two whole those pouches and and other snacks and like french fries from last night and he all of a sudden I looked down and I thought it was part of a pouch that had got on his foot and I look and he had blown out but luckily he's a big enough size where like there was still a little little infant insert in his car seat and I was like he's big enough without this so instead of doing all the cleaning right now I just pulled that out we bagged that up, changed his outfit, but it was one of the biggest blowouts I've ever seen. So we're getting gas, last round of bathrooms and everything, and then we're about to be in the turnpike, and I think we're like, what is that? Hour and a half, hour 45 away then? So it feels so good to be in the Florida weather again. Look at those guys hanging out. <laughs> Grouton, Peter's bringing up the bags. Are you guys having flashbacks to last Dopey? Because we sure are. <laughs> Groot. If you happen to be new to our channel, well, that was not here last year, little Christmas tree. If you're new to our channel, we attempted to do the Dopey Challenge as well as the cruise that follows last year. But we got sick the morning of the cruise and we had to cancel. And this was the Airbnb we were in before the cruise. So this is where it all went down. And we knew we loved it. Um, it is very weird being here, but it's also like, we are going to reclaim our experience um, and we feel good about it. So it's crazy. James couldn't even walk when we were here last time. Teddy was in my tummy and we're back. And now we're gonna rally and go somewhere quite exciting. And the Brookhart's? Oh, it's, it's good to be home. We're in Disney World! Woo! Yes, we're looking. <laughs> Good job. Come on. All right, so we are actually at the Contemporary tonight to visit our friends, the Earhearts. They are here. I don't know if we've said that. Like, I'm doing dopey. Carolyn's doing dopey. We're a bunch of dopes. They're staying at the Contemporary. We're at the Airbnb before. Then we're all going on the cruise. And then we're all staying at the same resort after the cruise for two nights to enjoy Festival of the Arts. So we are here to say hello and watch and some fireworks. we met them here. Like, yes. this is the first place we ever hung out with them. What, five, four years ago? Five, five years, years ago. ago. We're getting old. And now we got all these babes. So Ben is about to meet us. Oh, I see him. Here he is. Oh, oh my gosh. Got friends. If Look at the hat Carolyn gave me. Fantastic. We're gonna we're gonna make sure we go. <gasps> Look at all of our redheaded friends. James, uh, we accidentally put the binky down and he snatched it. So there's Carolyn. Carolyn's my dopey friend. I said we're being dopes this year. Hello. Hey all, yeah. happy birthday, yeah. happy birthday, you're gonna be four. Your fourth race. I remember it when you said you were day. pregnant with her. Oh yeah. I we do. Were, where were we? We were in the Magic Kingdom. Yes. Oh, <laughs> we are five minutes away from showtime and the, the most ridiculous view you could imagine. Here's the view from the Earhart's balcony. Boom, right there. This is... A very delicious and beautiful room. Wow, wow. We wow. 
Maybe. We'll talk logistics later, but Carolyn, I think I have to work here either Thursday or Friday, one of the days. Yeah. Because just me, I want to have a meeting know, on Zoom yeah. with this in my background and be like, welcome to... Your layer. <laughs> the ridiculousness continues because they have a second balcony. Look, at they have the Edna Moan feature. It's, look at these business influence, modern couture, new urban life. I love Edna. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh this bathroom though. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Look at that. I love that little curl. Curly cue for the win. Oh my gosh. Just stunning, stunning, stunning. And this is what it's all about. This and DCL. Happy birthday, Cordelia. Woo! But they also have a Christmas tree here. <laughs> Get yourself a room that you can run a Disney 5K in. Guys, any minute now. Any minute. <gasps> Look at that timing. I love this, but I can't wait for Halfway Ever After to come back. Woo! We're yeah. having our we'll very own fireworks dessert party. This looks like the gray stuff. Right. From Bye. their balcony. before we head back to the Airbnb. James is exploring and the gingerbread house still up. I'm so happy. Look at that, gorgeous. Christmas is still about. Stay right here. So nice. Alrighty, here is our spread. I got a banh mi sandwich. James, you got a pizza with apples and french fries and Peter got a spicy chicken sandwich. Alright, we've been back at the Airbnb. The puppy and the two uh -huh. babes have been sleeping, but it's very late. Mm -hmm. We're tired. We yeah, were, we have the rest of our time here planned. Yeah, we were, we were planning out logistics between work and events and fun and responsibilities. Plenty of Disney, but plenty of relaxing and we're just like we just want to get on the cruise. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to like, we don't want to be total worry warts, but we just want to be cautious and intentional. Yes. So we got a plan. Guess what? What? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>